Oh, okay. We're live. We're okay. live. <laughs> Glad We're I didn't just comment. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't comment. We are okay. live, are we I, sure? I think, I think that camera's a little skewed. You stand right there. Stand right there. I, as I do so well. Yeah. Just stand Smile around. Smile for the camera. Smile for the camera. Now it's, now it's wrong. Now it's wrong? Yeah, now it's well, wrong. Well, this is why we do a green room, so we can... Is that? I'll just stand right here. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, uh, so we're waiting for our thumb up. <laughs> One day I'm going to ask him to give me thumbs up. Say. Yeah. I need like two thumbs up, Two please. thumbs up, yeah. Two. There's one. Can I get the other one? No, it's got a thumb up, so the maybe audio is apparently working. two of them can working. each put a thumb up. I, I, yeah, maybe. We, the you have to train them. Train them. Train them. They, what? they are trainable, yes. Are they trainable? Oh, yeah. We have, someday we're going to have to talk about your employees here because you probably know them. I do, yes. Yeah, yes. you probably know them. Yeah. Uh, the show hasn't started yet. This is the green room. The show will start in approximately two minutes. What are we going to talk about in the meantime? Dips. I dips. Oh, um, go ahead. Dips, as in chips and dips. Yeah. I was going to talk about. Not, not, I'm not talking about my family. Okay. Like, uh, uh, who is it? Luke Skywalker. You yeah. mean Chewbacca? Chewbacca. Yeah. You can never remember your sister's no, name. No, because I'm not a Star Wars guy. I don't know if I can do the show. Yeah. Are you a Star Trek? No, I'm not a Trekkie either. Oh, I don't know. Although I can do this here. Well, and what's the saying that goes with that? Live long and prosper. Oh, yeah, he's a Trekkie. Yeah, we'll let you. No. We'll let you. No. Would that embarrass was, you to be a Trekkie? Yes. Why? You want to be cool, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> are you saying Trekkies aren't cool? I think they're cool, oh, yeah. Huh, but you okay. don't think they're cool, so you don't want to be a Trekkie. What about Star Wars? That's pretty cool. Sure. Sure. Just not into that, huh? No. What else can you tell me about yourself? Uh, Father's Day's coming up. Father's Day's coming. Yeah. I Did think you know that? I think it's Sunday. It is. This, this coming. Sunday. Yeah, this coming Sunday. Yeah. Do you plan to celebrate? Um, I do. I do. I think the girls are coming over and we're going to have some... They're going to wish you a happy Father's Day? Yes, Happy they are. Father's Day. Yeah. So Allie was asking what I wanted for Father's Day. And you told her she, what? She, they like to go out and just buy Time's things. Time's up. No. Okay. <laughs> Perfect timing. You've got 30 seconds. Yeah. 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 What did you ask for? So I asked for a uh, canvas print of? of whatever she wants to, whatever she wants to paint me. So that's something that she can do and oh, be okay. creative. I mean, school's not in session, so typically, she, like, Mother's Day. Yeah, yeah, oh. she likes to do canvases. Okay. Um, so typically, like, Mother's Day is during school, so they always get these nice, you know, creative things for Mother's Day, and then Father's Day comes, and they're out of school. And, and, and so, so, Okay, but you didn't ask for a print. You've asked for her to make a painting for you. Correct. Oh, fantastic. Correct. Yeah. Will you share it with the audience? I would love to share okay. it. Okay. Yeah. Shall we go live? Sure, why not? Let me get rid of the green I'm room. I'm not doing anything else. Let me, <laughs> I'm not doing anything else. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, friends the world over, thank you for joining us today and welcome to episode 13 of the absolutely amazing series known as Butcher Shop Television. Today is Wednesday, June 14th, 2023, and we are broadcasting live from smack dab in the middle of Jacob's Meat Market in Appleton, Wisconsin. My name is Eric, and with me, of course, the star of the show, the man himself, I'm going to go with it again, the mayor of Meatville, Mr. Luke Jacobs. Luke, Eric, how are you? in forever. I know it. Not since the green room. Correct. Where, where have you been? <laughs> I've been around. You've been around? Yeah. I think I heard that somewhere else. Oh, but, yeah? Uh, we'll talk okay. later. Okay. We'll talk later. We were in the middle of a conversation in the green room, but uh, it has to end now. Yes. So we'll just move That's on. That's the green room. We're on the BSTV now. We are BSTV, and this week I'll just give the recap. We're going to do weekly specials, brats of the week, always exciting for me. Um, a product of the week, because we do not have a guest this week. We don't have a guest right now. We yes, don't we have don't. a guest. Yes, we don't. A product of the week, special upcoming days, which I I, I like. Uh, a winner of last week's contest. I do too. I'm really uh, I'm really intrigued Into that? by that. Yeah. Intrigued yeah. By that. Uh, will we do another contest? Let's do it. <laughs> this is Absolutely. this is a shtick now. <laughs> Let's dive right in. For anyone who may not know, where are we, Mr. Jacobs? We Mr. Are. Mayor. <laughs> Mr. Mayor. Have people yeah. been calling you, Mayor? On the Mr. Yes. Yes. Actually, uh, I've had probably ten people come 10 up to people. me. Ten oh, people. Yeah, well, we'll see if we can least. double that now. Yeah. Let's try. Mayor that. of Meatville, it's, Mr. It's mayor. It's sticking. 
it's sticking. We, uh, Where right. are we anyway? We are smack dab in the middle of Jacob's Meat Market in oh. Appleton, Wisconsin. Um, in uh, the heart of the city. The heart of the say. city. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right well, here. We're here, so this must be the heart of the city. Yeah. Exactly. I think the mayor said that, didn't they? Didn't he? Last we week? could play the tape, but yeah. I'm going to I'm going to go with yes. For <laughs> time's sake. Yeah. yeah, let's just go with yes. So we're at Jacob's Meat Market in the we heart are. of Appleton, Wisconsin. Yes. Um, I'll mention just quickly that you're more than just a meat market. You are the right. mayor of Meatville, but yes. you sell other things too. You're sort of the corner grocer. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Okay. I have some news. You do. I wrote it down, so I'm going to say it, and okay. you can fill me in. This okay. Saturday, June 17th, this Saturday, there's Vets Brought Fry in your parking lot. Yes, sir. So is this veterinarians? The doctors are coming? Very close. Very close. Very close. The fill other vets. In. Oh, the, the other, other vets. vets. Yes. Uh, so the Vietnam veterans, veterans. are having okay. um, a brought fry from 10 to 2 or until they run out. Until they run out. Yes. They, they can run out. Yeah, they're, they're only selling brats. It's not brats and burgers and soda it comes and in a bun, chips. And, yes. Comes in yes. a bun and they're delicious. They are delicious. I, I, I they do are Jacob's partake. brats. I partake every year. Yes. Uh, because it's so convenient. Right. And, and affordable. Right. And right behind your building. And for a good cause. And for a good cause. Yeah, so my godfather, who used to make sausage here for 48 years, um, he is a Vietnam veteran, and he um, he kind of heads that brat fry up. And that's this Saturday. That's this Saturday. Yes. Did you say? Because you know I don't listen to you. Did you say Correct. from from two from eleven to two, ten to two, ten to two, yes. ten to two, yes. or you even wrote it down? Or, I'm trying. Come on, let me do my show. Oh, okay. <laughs> But speaking of brats, yes. today's Wednesday, you know what that it means? It is, yes, brats, uh, brat fry brats Wednesday. Brat fry Wednesday. Do you know which brats you're selling today? Yes, we which do. Uh, pork and or chili cheese. Chili cheese? I haven't yes. had a chili cheese. And it's delicious. I think I might try that today. Yes, you should order. Because we do the show on Wednesday, and because you do Wednesday brat fry on <laughs> Wednesdays, right. after the show, I usually go steal one. Right. And then I tell you, I stole one. It's not really stealing if you tell us. But I want it to. Uh, anyway, I'm okay. going to do chili cheese today because I usually do the pork. Yeah. But I want to try the chili well, cheese. Well, you could do one of each. I, I could do one of each. Yeah. I could do one of each. I could try the chili cheese and see if I like it enough for another chili cheese. Right. Uh, or you could buy some as well. I, they might be on we'll sale. We'll probably this week. get to that yes. in a moment. Yes. Let's talk about specials this week, shall okay. we? But first, do you have a uh, joke for me? So I read online because i i don't live there or anything like that but i read but by, by law you can read <laughs> that was my question <laughs> <laughs> i might by have law. seen a cartoon or something okay like yeah, that. I yeah, mean, yeah i mean yeah i mean by law you have to turn your headlights on when it's raining in sweden did you know that i didn't know that but it makes sense it's kind of safe to... well i mean how am i supposed to know when it's raining in sweden though <sighs> but, uh, if you're in sweden i suppose you might oh know. okay but I wouldn't be driving in Sweden. Why not? I don't have an international driver's license. You could I guess. get one just like that. Yeah. I could sign just you. Just like what? Just like that. I'm did trying to do it softly so that oh, okay. our microphone. Well, People I think go, it snaps. It snaps when you do it like that. Do it yeah. away from you. Uh, since you know everything, or oh, do at least I? you think you do. Yeah. In what year were kangaroos discovered? Did you already see? <laughs> I just saw the see, answer. It's a good one. Isn't I'm it? not sure. When is it? A leap year. A leap, a leap year. year. Okay, of course. Of course. Would you like to remind everyone watching that you have a mailing list and how to sign up for it? Oh, yes, definitely. Okay, go um, for it. So you can sign up for it right on our website, jacobsmeatmarket.com. You have a website? We do. Oh, you're so professional. So professional, yes. Jacobsmeatmarket.com? Yes. Okay. With an, with an S, Jacobs. Jacobs, but no Meat apostrophe. Market. No apostrophe. No apostrophe. No, no, no. Um, so a lot of people actually go to Jacob's Meats, I think it is, dot com. Oh, do you own that one too? No, I do not own that. No, no, it. fortunately for me. Um, so we get comments all the time of, about how, um, can I get the Firecrack special or can I can I get the Father's Day special or whatever? And they usually have like bundles or whatever. So if you're on that website, it's not us. It's not us. Yeah, always look for the Appleton, Wisconsin. You are jacobsmeatmarket.com. Correct. And Correct. while you're at the website, you can the, sign up for this yes. mailing list. And what is this mailing list? This mailing list, uh, you get an email twice a week. Twice a week? Yes. Oh, direct on from Sunday. you? Emails from Luke. Emails from Luke. Oh, right. I like this already. From the heart, yes. Uh, Sundays we do um, our uh, monthly, or sorry, weekly uh, menu. The lunch menu. The lunch menu, yes. Um, and then on Wednesdays we do our weekly specials. You have specials every week? We do, every yes. Every week. Why don't Hence you the weekly specials. 
Tell me about your specials this week. Yeah, Wendell. all right. Well, <laughs> where would you like to start? Uh, let's start with this button here that says chops. chops. I don't know what that means. Yeah. So we have a bone and pork chop special going right now. We have a 209 a pound for regular cut or stuffed. The stuffed are excellent in the oven. Um, and we have a thick grill cut for 269 a pound. Well, the stuffed ones, with what are they stuffed? Uh, they're a bread stuffing. Bread stuffing? Yes. Oh, okay. Like well, a sage, like a little good. sage and onion Sounds type good. stuff. Why are the thick cuts more expensive? Um, because they typically have the tenderloin portion in it. Just like oh. just like a T-bone in a porterhouse, the gotcha. porterhouse are it more has expensive because they have the tenderloin. Special. Correct. Yeah, that's something Correct. special. They're delicious. So that's what I would want is the, the thick cut. Right. Uh, or I could get a thick cut and a stuffed and have the best of both worlds. Because sure. the stuffing sounds pretty good. Sure. You have it's a, a free country. You can buy whatever you like. <laughs> Only if I has the monies. Oh, yes. Yes. And there's that. Uh, yes. This one says brawn. Oh, yeah. Brawn. Yeah. Braun. This is, we have our Braunschweiger on sale for five forty-nine a pound. Uh, is that a sale price? That is a sale what price. What does it yes. usually go for? Uh, two ninety-nine. That's the usual price? Yes. So yes. the sale price five forty-nine. Right. Like it. I'll take that. Uh, how do you serve this? Do you slice how do we it or serve it? in chunks? We typically sell it in chunks. Sell it in chunks. Uh, but you slice it typically for like a sandwich. Oh, yeah. I know how to eat it. Oh. I'm just wondering how you gave it to the customer. Uh, if I ask for it I, sliced, could you just slice it? Sure, we can oh, slice, it. slice it. Uh, but we have to slice it by hand because we can't put it on the slicer because it would schmear a little bit. It would schmear. Schmear, yeah. Say, I'll take a little schmear on my bagel. Okay, Braunschweiger. What is the difference between liverwurst and Braunschweiger? So liverwurst is is a, in a ring typically. Okay. And it Shape, is cooked. one thing. Correct, correct. Um, it is more finely chopped. More finely chopped. Correct, than Braunschweiger. Braunschweiger has a little bit larger chunks, it's also okay. a little bit more coarse. Coarser. Um, and then coarser, yep. And then it is in a um, long casing. Long casing. And it is smoked. It's cooked smoked. and then smoked. That's the big difference. Yes. Other than that, the ingredients are identical? They're pretty similar, yes. Pretty similar, but yes. maybe not identical. Right. But, but They're smokage. Identical, but smokage is the difference, really. Yes. Okay. okay. And, uh, and the coarseness. And the coarseness. Yes. We're moving on, we're moving on. I'm going to something called Perch. Perch. You yeah. spelled my name wrong there. Oh, shoot. Typo? I think so. Is yeah, Lake Eric. Lake is Eric? there a Lake Eric? There must be a Lake Eric. There's so. got to be. Absolutely there's there certainly is. no Lake Erie. Erie, is there? Erie. Erie, <laughs> yeah. Lake Erie? Yeah. Yes. Uh, so fresh. I, I forgot to oh, uh, it's fresh. push fresh. Fresh. Lake Erie Perch, yes. So it's not frozen. Correct. Uh, fresh out of the lake. Yes. Lake Erie has it. Lake Erie, yeah. Okay. Not Lake Eric. Not Lake Erie. Yeah, they weren't fishing there. Uh, fresh lake perch, uh, $22.99 a pound. Am I looking at them right now? Are those the perches? I'm not sure. Where are you looking? At the sign that says lake perch. Yes. <laughs> yes, then that would be the lake perch. I'm yes. not sure where you're looking. Yes, right. <laughs> okay. Um, they, they... So, yeah, we just got them in this morning. Um, they were swimming last week um, in Lake Erie. Uh, they're, they're a little bit tougher to get. Um, Are they? Because uh, I, I think because of the coarseness of the net, as well as I believe the the walleye have been eating the, the perch. That's why there's the walleye eat there's the perch and we eat the walleye. Perch. I right? don't like that. Right. Well, I can see you've got some perch right there. Right. From apparently Lake Erie, and they're right. not frozen. Right. Where are we going now? Yes, they're not. Yes, they're uh, not. So we have some beef brisket. Brisket on sale for five sixty nine. I like pound. brisket. Brisket yes. is good. I, I like it cooked. Do you? I'm not you sure don't how like you it like it. No, no. I, oh, I, okay. I bring it to me cooked, and I'll eat it. Okay. It's delicious. But. Okay. Um, so that's really like a Father's Day special because uh, a lot of fathers like to um, smoke beef brisket. Smoke. Yeah, and then they're gonna have the whole family over, so they're um, gonna smoke it and, and uh, serve so it to the whole So you can get family. big pieces of brisket. Yes, definitely. So they come in whole. Um, the tip, the whole ones are typically about ten to twelve pounds. Oh, that's that's a ones. large family. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Now, you said smoke, but you can slow cook it. Sure. Definitely. Any other way to cook it, brisket? Um, slow, slow cook is the is the best way slow to do it. Slow cook is yeah. the best. Way. And you slow cook it when you smoke it anyway, too. So yes, yes. But if you don't have a smoker, right? Can you just put it in the oven for a long time? Is that sure. slow cooking? Okay. Sure, you can slow cook it. Yeah, I just a know. lower temperature. An oven I have. An oven yes. I have. Okay. Oh, scallops! I see scallops on my I button here. I thought it was scallops. Oh, it can be scallops. It's your store. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah. So we have some frozen, frozen. Frozen, frozen from the store. It's contagious. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So There's frozen dry, dry here. sea scallops. What's dry about? So them? dry means that it's uh, they don't have a solution in them. They're just sea scallops. They're not sea scallops oh. in water or sea scallops in some. some yeah, I was um, wondering about that because it, it, they're called dry sea scallops. Right. And right. these are frozen. 
Correct, correct. So sometimes they, they take the scallop or a scallop and then they put like a solution in them so that they look bigger. Um, so it's kind of like, it's kind of like uh, some stores do with bacon. Um, I didn't know they, 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 did they that inject with bacon. it. Oh. Yes, yes. Um, have you never listened to me before? Never. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Who are you again? Yes, yes. Um, so these are dry sea scallops. They have they're just scallops. Just scallops. Frozen scallops. Yes. Uh, in the shell. They're not in they're the not shell. In the they're shell. not in the half shell or any shell. Nothing. They're no, just shellless. The little round. Correct. The pucks. The scallop, yeah. scallop pucks. Yeah. Oh, I like scallops a lot. Yeah. I pan fry them. I you don't do? know okay. what you're going to suggest. You probably put them on a barbecue or something. Although uh, I bet they'd be I, really I good on a barbecue. Eat them. Yeah. Oh, you I'm don't sure like seafood. Yeah. You could probably skewer them and, and yeah, grill them. That'd be yeah. a great idea. Sure. Just have to get it. I heard that pan frying is the best way to do it, though. Yeah, a little, a little bit of lemon butter in there. A little there. searing quickly. Sure. Don't cook them too much. Right. Just right. But cook them enough. Cook them enough, but yeah. not too much. Correct. Yeah. They're, yeah, they're delicious. Yes. I like those. Scallops. So $24.99 a pound. Uh, moving right along to Jacob's own sweet bourbon beef jerky. Sweet bourbon beef jerky. Last yes. Monday, two days ago, was National Beef Jerky Day. You knew that. Oh, was it? Yeah. I thought it was National Peanut Butter Cookie Day. That too. Oh. That too. It's, so I'll eat just the peanut butter cookie the and then and wash it down with some beef jerky. Or vice versa. Or vice versa. I'd have done the vice versa. Yeah. Sweet bourbon as yes. opposed to just sour Regular bourbon. Regular bourbon, yeah. Okay. yeah. And how or do you put bourbon. the bourbon in the beef jerky? Very carefully. Or do you put the jerky in the bourbon? You, we dip it. We dip, dip each it? one in the bourbon. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's the stuff hanging on the lines outside. You, you air bourbon. drying them? It's the bourbon, yeah, it's hanging the bourbon. on the lines. Yeah. You gonna tell me the real answer, or should we just move on? It's just a bourbon seasoning. A bourbon seasoning? Yes. So it has the taste? Yes. But not the alcohol? Right. Oh, right. So you don't have to worry about getting drunk off of You won't get drunk off of it? 75 pieces. Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> 75 you pieces. You can actually just drink the bourbon. That would be a lot quicker. But do you sell bourbon? Yes, we don't. Yes, we don't? Yes. So if I want bourbon, I'm going for the jerky here. You have an extra special. If you special. want bourbon, you're going for the jerky? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's what I said. That Are you sense. not listening to me? I just did, yeah. I was just reiterating what you said. You usually have six specials and then your broths of the week, but you yes. have a seventh one in there. Yes, we do. What is this we all about? We have bone-in country-style pork ribs for $1.39 a pound. Seems like a great price. Oh, yes. They're bone-in, but remind me, because I know you'll tell me, didn't you listen last time? And I will say no. Yes. What is country style? So country style is they're not a rack of ribs. Okay. So the rack of ribs is typically like a St. Louis style, which is the spare ribs. And then baby back ribs are from the back, right, or, right around the loin. Um, so these are country style. So these are from the ends of the loins. They have more meat on them. Oh. Yes. Seems good. Right. I meat mean, is good, yes. Meat is good yes. if you're looking to eat, <laughs> if you want the bones. <laughs> Well, if you want more bones, don't buy these. Don't buy them. Yeah. But if you want the meat, get that because the, the price is good. Oh, yeah. The yes. price is very good. But uh, how do you sell them? By the rib? By the... Uh, by the piece typically or somebody says, you know, I'll take five pounds of those or whatever. It's usually about a half a pound per rib. Half a pound per rib? Correct. Well, at that price, I can probably get a couple of ribs. Yeah. yeah. And if you don't like them, you could probably just throw them away. I probably could. Yeah. But has there ever been anything I didn't like from Jacob's Meat Market? Uh, the service. I don't think I've ever said that, but I'm not going to argue. I read with your you. mind. <laughs> You're just like everybody else, right? You ready for your uh, your foley? Your shtick, little your, my shtick. You ready? Here it comes. Yeah. Brats of the week. Brats of the week. Jeez, you got that down. I'll have to change it up now. Two brats this week, as yes. as per usual. Yes. I, I'm looking at dry scallop brats, but that's not right. This yes, is, it's not. Oh, this we is what have you're serving uh, chili today. cheese brats. Chili yes. Cheese brats. So I can go back, steal one, steal and if one, I yeah. like it. You can, uh, other people cannot, probably. Probably not. Right. Probably not. Right. And I don't really steal it. I just say that because it's fun. Right. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's for the, but if for I like the it, audience. But if I like it, I yes. can come buy some and they're on sale. Yes, $4.69 a pound. And as I recall, there's about four per pound. Correct. All right, yeah. I got it. Got well, it, you were it. listening. Yeah. Well, now you've said it five times, so right. okay. Right. What's the next one? Uh, shroom. We have True. some mushroom and You're Swiss brats. You're reading my Yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, Four sixty-nine a pound for the mushroom and Swiss brats as well. Now, does it have mushrooms in it? Uh, so it has dehydrated, dehydrated mushrooms. Mushroom? Yes, and that are rehydrated when they in, are introduced to the pork. This Swiss, I assume, is cheese. Yes. And, and you're not so, listening to me. Not, what did I say? I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> no idea. Does anybody ever I can see to me? you just uh, spacing <laughs> away. You know, just, I am only... I'm, I'm talking and talking and talking. Oh. Please talk to me. Talk to me. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're done now. It's, we're it's done it. No, no, I have I have many more pages. Oh, have you? But okay. you're done with the specials, are you? Yes, we are. I'm going to take the specials off there. 
Uh, the, actually, the, the mushroom and Swiss brats are, are one of my favorite brats. Are they? Yes, they are. Uh, one of? One How of, many yes. favorites so do I'm, you have? I'm, I'm not a big Swiss fan myself, but the mushroom and Swiss brats, they have just a, a perfect flavor to them. Does it actually have Swiss cheese in it? Yes. It's not dehydrated so, Swiss cheese. It's the. Yes, it's not. Yes, it's not. It's the high melt Swiss cheese. Yes, high temperature. High yes. temperature. Yep. Melt. So Swiss it has cheese. a high. <laughs> sure. Don't you call the cheddar high melt? High temp. High temp. Yeah. So there's high temp Swiss and... High melt would be that it, it melts. High quicker. melt? Yeah, high, high melt. We'll go somewhere with that. Anyway, that's one of your favorites. So people yes. just come in and say, Mr. Mayor, yes. can I buy you Mister. a Mister. Heavy, heavy on the Mister, yes. <laughs> heavy on the Mister. Yeah. Well, now I don't know if I'm going to be able to use it since I know you like it. Oh, I'll just okay. call you Mayor. Okay. Mayor. I'm going to call you Luke. How's that sound? Sure. Oh, I'm going to turn the you page call me whatever you want. Yeah, turn the page. We did have, this is episode 13. Yes, and unlucky you, as 13. As you know, it's, it's, it's unlucky to be superstitious. Right. <laughs> I'll let that sink in. Uh, and this is the first time that I'm listening. our guest, for the moment, in the moment, you listen. First time our guest couldn't make it. Right. Uh, this is the first time. Once we had the guest, but we didn't have any audio or something. <laughs> like that. But yeah, this time, I remember that. The guest is, I believe. Was that six? Episode it was six, six because yeah. we did six A to make up for it, right. and the guest came back the very next right. day. He just did. Like, yes. Do you remember who it was? It was the Chocolate Man. Don't remember his name. Steve Vanderwall. Steve. Yeah. Steve. Steve. That's when uh, we had the you know guy behind him that was doing his arms. That's right. Remember we that? had a special special, special. guest, <laughs> an unannounced guest. An unannounced yes. Uh, but yeah. today's guest was going to be a dairy. We've had Star Dairy. We're going to have a different dairy. I assume this dairy is going to come back. It's a well-known so. dairy. Yes. Uh, everyone in Appleton knows this name. Right. I did bring a joke Everybody's for the dairy. Yeah. What is a dairy farmer's favorite Disney movie? Ah, there's so many of them. Ah, um, but this one probably makes sense. Max knows. <laughs> Who's Max? One of your employees. Oh, okay. <laughs> Although I think his name tag Which says one? Larry today. Yeah, right. <laughs> anyway, Which their one? favorite movie is Moana. 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 Oh, man, we should have asked Max. We should have. Max, he ran away as soon as I mentioned his name. Did you know that one, Max? No? Oh. No. What was, your gonna be, what, what, what was your guess going to be? I didn't know one. Oh. And he, he doesn't, doesn't want to be on one. the show. Yeah, right. How dare we'll you mention my name? Show. <laughs> oh, don't involve me in your nonsense. Yes. This is not nonsense. It's BS. Right. TV. Uh, you have something on the table here that yes. the viewing, on, viewing audience cannot see, but I happen to know it is local honey. Yes. That you sell here at Jacobs. Yes. Does this so we have stand some... in for our special guest? Yes, yeah. Is, yeah. Know. I mean, we're not going to have to switch. This the... is a special product. Yeah. So we're not going to switch the microphones or anything because they can't answer. I can hold the microphone. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Is it, is it talking honey? No. <laughs> no. It's done talking. Um, so we have some uh, local uh, honey from Red Granite, Wisconsin, about an hour away from here. That's a um, pound and a half of honey. It is. That'll last a while. Yes, yes. From Granite, uh, an was, hour and a half from here. Yes. Um, as you know, the, uh, I was asking you random facts um, from an email that I had received. He, he was doing it. Honey is the only, only food that does not expire, right? Doesn't spoil, ever. Doesn't spoil, that's, yeah. That's, yeah. That's what... I mean, I haven't done the testing myself, but no. that is... <laughs> the knowledge I have gained. We, we should maybe put it in like one of those time capsules. And put see what in. happens. Yeah, see what see happens. What happens. See what happens. Uh, yeah, it doesn't spoil. Right. Uh, shelf stable, is that shelf what you call stable? it? Shelf yeah. stable, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Uh, and in fact, keep it out of the refrigerator. Right. Or you can't use it. <laughs> right, right. Well, you can use it. You but, can. Um, so you have to heat it back up. Yeah. Um, so it may crystallize over time. Um, but that but doesn't you just, mean it's... Correct. That doesn't mean it's bad. No. Um, you have to just heat it back up. Uh, some people put it in like a double boiler to heat it back that's up. That's the best way. Yes, or you can put it in a microwave if you want. It, that's the quick way. Yes. And yes. it works. It works. Yeah, it does. It, works. it does. So anyway, you sell this here. Yes. Uh, so some benefits to the honey are... You know it, the benefits of honey. Yes. Please, yes. enlighten me. Enlighten and us. And the audience. Yeah, right. The four people that are out there. Um, so uh, it builds up immunity to local um, allergies. Local allergies. So yes. the pollen that's in the, the air pollen, here yes, is yes. probably the same pollen the bees are using to create. The pollen, so yep. we ingest the the honey and it builds up. We in ingest a the, we ingest a little bit of pollen as well because oh, that's what they're. That makes sense. That's what they're. Can I just go around and eat flowers? Go, go for it. <laughs> okay. No, I wouldn't recommend it, but if you want to, go ahead. Um, it also helps with burns and other wounds. Um, so if you don't have any like um, 
Neosporin. Neosporin or anything like that. You can put some honey on there until you can get to the um, medical uh, yeah, item that you The first need. thing they're going to do is clean off that honey. Right? Right. It's going to hurt, but <laughs> That's at least right. you've kept it clean right. in the yeah. meantime. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Um, it also uh, is great for sore throats and coughs. I know when my girls were younger, um, if they had a cough, um, the honey, they would like the flavor of the honey versus the, the cough syrup. Yes. Um, as well as um, it sticks on the throat. It does. On the it way down there. It the throat and yeah. just kind of soothes coats everything the throat. out. Yeah. yeah, right, right. Um, it's full of antioxidants. Full to overflowing Cur of antioxidants. Sure, and sure, what sure. are antioxidants, Dr. Jacobs? They are um, oxidants that are not. They're out there picketing. Picketing, they're, they're yeah. Antioxidants. <laughs> And, and I'm not even sure what antioxidants are. Apparently it gives you blood pressure. Yes, it keeps your blood pressure high. Uh, or low. It regulates your blood pressure. Sure. sure. In other it words, it's a wonder food. Right. Wonder food, and you sell it right here, and it's local. We and, sure do. Uh, I'm just going to show it to the camera one more time. Yeah. And in a tub they like this. They can zoom. Yeah. Yeah. So we get it in a five-gallon bucket, and then we heat it up a little bit so that it's more um, I've actually seen horrible. that. I've Have seen you? you doing that. The bucket? Yeah. Yeah. We use a different bucket every time. Well, I've seen where you do it. Yeah, yeah. In the the thing with the water that heats up and the, yeah. The Never what? Mind. The thing with the water that heats up. The, yeah. I don't know what you call that thing. Oh. And you're okay. certainly not going to tell it's me because cooker. It's, it's a cooker. It's a cooker. Yeah. It's a cooker. Right. Um, right. I was going to move on now. So, so I saw um, one of our favorite customers. But Luke has another idea. Yes. Yes. I always have other ideas. You saw. One yes. of your favorite yes, customers. Yes, one of our favorite customers um, that actually lives out of the state. He used to live in the state, grew up here, um, and he moved to Idaho. Idaho? Yeah, that's, not Utah. That's for a He way. commented on last week's Oh, last Idaho, week's not episode. Utah. Yes, yeah, he yes. corrected somebody, probably Correct. you. Correct, yeah, of okay. course, of course. Um, because I always thought that he was from Utah, and I was just well, got Apparently Utah he's stuck. from here, and he's moved to Idaho. Correct, correct. Anyway. Well, do you want to talk to so him? So I would like to uh, maybe interview him. Oh. Do you suppose he's if, willing? If, if that's all right with you. It's fine with me. Yeah, it's your show. No, no, absolutely not. No. <laughs> we'll be right back. Okay. All right, we are back. That is not Eric. No. That is Josh Nickash. Josh, how are you? Good, how are you Good. doing, Good, I'm great. So where do you live? So I live in Boise, Idaho. Okay. And I have to correct you a little bit. Okay. I didn't grow up here. Oh, you didn't grow up here, I okay. was born here. Okay. And uh, parents kicked me out of the state when I was like 11 months old. So. Oh, 11 months? Yeah, so As I went- As they should have, they probably knew. So I grew up in Idaho, I did move back to uh, Green Bay for a little bit. Okay. But uh, job just didn't work out, so now I'm back out in Idaho. Okay, all right, all right. So how long have you been coming to Jacob's Meat Market then? I would want to say probably about early 2000s, I think, is when my dad first introduced me okay. to this place. Okay. He's probably been coming here for at least we 60 don't care years. About him. Oh, yeah. No, I'm just, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> he he's won't watch here? anyway, yeah, right? right? Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> so he's been coming here for 60 years? I want to say 60 or yeah. more. I yeah. couldn't tell you exactly for sure. I might sure. be a little wrong there, but. Sure. Um, uh, so once in a while, I'll, I'll hear, like, it'll be the holidays, and he orders a smoked turkey for one holiday, and he orders a fresh turkey for another one. And he came in one year, and I was like, 
oh no, we don't have a smoked turkey for you. <laughs> and he was like, well, this is a holiday that I don't get a smoked turkey, so it's good that I, you have a fresh turkey. Anyway, anyway, so, I mean, we have known about his orders for, for years and the holidays and stuff like that. So, I mean, when you get to know customers' orders year after year after year, um, you know, that, that that's a you know, really good customer that, that you've been dealing with for 60 years. Yeah. You know, they, they order the same thing all the time and whatever. It's just fun to get to know the customers and what their, and what their needs are and stuff. So. Well, and that's one of the things that uh, is nice about this place is that you do get to know the customers. You get to know the people that run the business and stuff right. like that. Right. Um, and you don't see that very often anymore. Sure. Um, especially like where I'm from, we don't really have like meat markets like this or... You don't? Okay. Well, there might be a few, not quite as good though. Right, right. Do they make their own sausage? You or know... Are they more, more like a fresh meat type place? The ones I've seen are more like a fresh meat type place. Okay. Um, we might have one that uh, is about 45 minutes from me that might make their own sausage. I haven't made it out there. Sure. I okay. mean... It's a long drive. Yeah. It's easier to just come here. Yeah, it's easier to just fly six hours away and, you know, here you are. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what keeps you coming back to Jacobs? Uh, the products. Okay. And, well, friendly staff. Um, there's, I actually like knowing that um, you don't put a bunch of stuff in there that's going to make, uh, like, the smoke kielbasa last on the counter for six months and not right. be you know, not yeah. being refrigerator, stuff yeah. like that. Yep. And I think you can taste it in um, like the herbs and stuff or seasonings that you put into your meats. It, you just get a fresher taste, you get more flavor. Sure. Um, your product is second to none, quite yeah. honestly. Thank you. And obviously people love the bacon here. Right. I right. get hounded to bring back more and more <laughs> bacon because yeah. I'm dumb enough to keep giving it to new people right. back sure. there and then sure. they give them a taste and do you, do you have like an order form that you like okay hey guys I'm going to be uh, going to Appleton going to Jacobs uh, what's the order form you know like get, bring it back like Girl Scout cookies you know you just take an order form and just send it out to everybody and take orders because uh, no, you get enough of it to, to be able to do that I, I kind of have a little circle okay. that uh, they they know what they can get. Sure. Uh, I do somewhat limit, okay. you know, uh, certain things. Because of bag weight? Bag weight yeah. or for just... Traveling? Well, I got to save some room for me, too. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, so be, what I got to your... be a little greedy. Right, least. right, right. Me first, and then what do you guys want? Right, exactly. right. Uh, what are some of your favorite products? You mentioned the uh, bacon, bacon, kielbasa, smoked kielbasa. Smoked kielbasa. Um, Jacob's own original pork brats. That's really what kind of got me introduced to you guys because sure. uh, the old man would cook them at Packer Games. And sure. So th those are probably my top three. Like if I'm yes. not bringing anything else back, definitely those three things. Yeah, just a little space in your little luggage. space yeah. or you know, cramped for time, whatever. Sure. Uh, sure. The breakfast links. I absolutely love the breakfast links. The original. Um, did the, you know that, so as a little known fact, did you know that the brats and the breakfast links are the same exact ingredients, just in smaller casings? Well, I kind of wondered. Yeah? But it just seems like there's something a little different about it, this. You they know, do taste different. It's, it's weird. Yes. Um, just, I think the size ma actually makes a difference. Size matters? Is that size, what you're saying? Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> do you... <laughs> So how often do you come back? You come back for, I know I know you well enough that you come back for races. Yes. Um, you guys are big into racing, um, dirt tracks, and and uh, what is the other, blacktop? What do you, what Asphalt, do you call it? Asphalt, Asphalt, concrete. Okay. okay, sure. Yeah, I like to make uh, my annual June trip if possible. Sure. Um, if possible, I try to come back later in the summer for um, a race over at WIR. Okay. Um, then, just kind of depends. I try to come back for one or two Packer games if possible. Sure. Um, sometimes I got to group them up into a one trip. But yeah, yeah. I would say anywhere from three, four times average that I try to fly back to okay. Wisconsin. And I always know when you're going to come back because you always email me an order. You know, like, hey, I want this and this and this. Um, freeze it, and I will. I'll pick it up on this day or whatever. And just so, just to warn you, I will be back in town. Yes. Just like I got this well, trip as well give you a heads up yes yeah. uh, one time i didn't and you guys didn't have any smoked kielbasa right and uh, that was a risk i'm not willing to take anymore <laughs> so whatever it's not willing to sh you're not willing to have it shipped there 
you're just because we don't ship as well so exactly yeah yeah <laughs> no i'd be willing to ship it but you guys yeah. don't ship so right I... right um so do you watch bs tv i do ever? do they have that in idaho yes they do we have the thing called the internet in idaho you do i i know it's shocking hmm that's very intriguing. Yes, yes. You have the World Wide Web over we there, We got the huh? World Wide okay. Web. Okay. I thought it was a little, a little cutout of where they didn't have it was <laughs> Idaho, especially Boise. Yes. Um, anyway, so so you watch BS TV. Yes. Do you enjoy it? I do. What parts do you like about it? Because I don't know that I've ever seen many of your comments on there. People love, a lot of people come up to me and say, oh, we love your show. We love this. We love this. We love this. And then they don't comment. We're looking for comments. You know, what do you like? We, what do you not like? What are you looking for? What are you? Well, um, I, I kind of like your guys' interaction, just the joke, the fun. What joke? The jokes of the day that you guys have. Oh, do we have jokes? No. No. Yes. We're, this, is, this is not the real BS in BS TV. This yes, is just we put BS the, TV. You put the BS in BS yeah. TV. <laughs> All right, so so you're going to start commenting more. Is that, is that what you're trying to say? Well, I try to comment. Okay. Um, sometimes I'm not logged in when I'm watching the video, so okay. I forget to comment. But so you don't live stream it all the time, but you can watch it again when at your earliest convenience. Yeah, I tend to have to uh, watch it again. I work nights, so... Oh, you work too? Well, how, how am I putting your kids through college by coming out here to buy your products? I love it. I love it. I thought your your uh, parents were just paying for it all the time. <laughs> no, you they wish. they kicked me out at forty. Oh, that's right. I thought they kicked you out at eleven months. <laughs> again, well, again, again at well, forty. Yeah. Okay, okay, perfect. Um, one final question is: Do you like apples? Yes. Yes. What What's your favorite kind of apple? Uh. Honeycrisp. Honeycrisp, okay. Mine is the phone. The phone. <laughs> yes, yes. All right. <laughs> we'll be right back. Thank you very much, Josh, for you coming bet. in and taking a couple minutes of your time. All right, thanks, Luke. All right, we'll be right back. And we have we are on, yes. We are on. Yes, sir. That Back was a on. great interview. Who yeah. was that? Who was that, that was Josh man? Nickash. Josh. Yeah. Uh, from what state is he living in now? Utah. See if you're paying attention. Where? Utah? <laughs> oh, Idaho. Oh, oh, Idaho. From the background. <laughs> Idaho. <laughs> from the back 40. I'm going to do special days now. Okay. Uh, today, June 14th, we have talked about this before. It is, of course, Flag Day. Yes. Uh, did you go to the parade? There was a uh, I did parade. not. I was out of town. You were out of town. Yes, thanks for listening. They had a parade. Yes, they, they did. They had a parade. Uh, they were worried. You... They were worried in the morning, I guess. They were so worried. Yeah, because it oh, was what? raining. Oh. I... Were you there? 
I was not at the parade. Were you here? I was looking out the window. Oh, okay. I was looking out the window. They had a Do parade. Do you know what Flag Day uh, symbolizes? What it symbolizes? Yeah. What does it symbolize? So I was told this morning that it symbolized the, the birth of America, but I thought that was the 4th That's of July. It's the 4th of July. That's what I thought. It but might be the day that we adopted the flag, because that wasn't immediate. I think it's the be. day the, the design was adopted. Okay. We're going to go with that until somebody proves us wrong yeah, in the comments. Yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> this Saturday, June 17th, in addition to being the brat fry in the back of your store for the veterinarians, the Vietnam vets, yeah. is a day I know you're looking forward to it. It is World Juggling Day. Oh, yes. And you're going to put on shows in the back, right? Uh, I think they're going to juggle brats. You're going to juggle brats? No. <laughs> no, no. The jugglers. And this Sunday, of course, we've already talked about it, is the 4th of July. I thought that came in July. We're celebrating the 4th of July? It's this Sunday, isn't it? I got you too. No, yes, this Sunday not. the 18th is Father's Day. <laughs> oh, Father's, Father's Day. Day. Father's yes, Day. And yes, you're looking of forward course. to getting your gifts. Yeah. Your gifts. <laughs> I have the next uh, next thing on my list is giveaways. Yes. We did a giveaway last week. Uh, people had to comment with the word mayor. Yes. Uh, uh, and the prize was a $25 gift certificate. Was it? To, I believe, this very establishment. Oh, okay. Jacob's yes. Meat Market. You, you have that handy, right? You, uh, you, you can make it happen. Sure, yes. Uh, I'm going to read some comments. Sean Dearson said, two mayors in one show, nicely played. Nicely played. Sometimes, that was actually a most really time, fun show. It was a fun show. Yeah. It was a fun show. I think he enjoyed it he, too, the, he, the mayor. Yeah, he knows what he's doing. Yes. He's, he's spoken publicly he's, before. <laughs> yes. Kim Kafura said, Mayor of Meatville. Yes, he so did. Your full title. Yes. Your full title. Lindale One said Mayor. James Hines said Mayor. And the winner this week is Jimmy Kusau, who also commented with the word Mayor. Exactly yes. what you asked people to do. Yeah. So Ask and you shall receive. Jimmy, please do what? How does Jimmy retrieve this $25? Jimmy can do whatever he wants. He has to somehow get this $25 oh, gift uh, certificate to Jacob's Meat Market. Yes. Um, just come in with your, um, is it the Menard big, Menard's Big Card? We, do we take those as a form of ID? We do, or passport. Yes. Or, passport. or passport. Oh, yes, yes. From any country. Or ID. Yeah, any ID would really any work. Any ID. No, don't and bother we'll with the ID. Come in and say, I'm Jimmy. Yeah. Or James, if he wants to be formal about it. Uh, Are and you sure that this is a formal name? I'm sure his name is James. Really? I am going on record. Are you, there, would yes. you willing to place a wager on sure. that? Sure, how much? A $25 gift card. Maybe it's going to be your treat next Peace week. Piece cake. Piece cake. Okay. His name is James. Yes. But he goes by Jimmy. No, Jimmy. Because he's friendly. Yeah. Are we doing another contest this week? Absolutely. Oh, finally. Okay. What is the prize? <laughs> what is the prize? Uh, I think you should give away lunches. All right. Well, let's do two, two lunches. Two lunches. Yes. Two lunches on any particular of day or just like two they're going to get of your choice. Yeah. Two, like certificates for a lunch. Yes. A couple of, and and, and uh, I suppose to enter, people need to comment on this video either below in YouTube or below in Facebook. Yes. Father's Day is coming up. What would you like yes. them to comment? Yes. So we did for Mother's Day, we did... Um, what is the favorite thing that your mother has done for you um, or is doing for you right now? Um, I think we should do that for Father's Day as well. Okay. So comment below and say what you appreciate about your father. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I think or that's... Or what you did appreciate if, you're, if your father is no longer here. I still appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. I still feel appreciation. Yes, Even definitely. Even though he's no longer with us. Yes, me too. <laughs> you too? Yes. Did you know me father? Oh, you're talking about no, your own father. My, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Never met your father. <laughs> That's your cue. That's your cue. That's All right. your cue card uh, right there. Thank you so much for watching. We will be back next week, Wednesday at 10.30 a.m. for another live broadcast, the non day. Next week is when we're talking about uh, skin care tips for men over 40. Gotcha. Keep going. Yeah. 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 You can, maybe. You you do your show on all you're, of them. You're over 40. That. Yes. You're yes. over 40. All right. <laughs> Please uh, like this video and consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Come and visit us at the store at the corner of Law and Pacific in Appleton, Wisconsin. Beautiful Appleton, Wisconsin. We are here Monday through Saturday, 8 a.m. till 6 p.m. Speaking of YouTube and your channel, I see you did something new on your channel. Yes. What'd you do? What is that magic that you did? <laughs> the magic is I put the, all of the videos not, all. not just under the live, but under our regular You put regular one videos. video Yeah, under we're just your testing channel. it. It's the excerpt from BSTV of your, your talk, speech, interview with the mayor of Appleton. Yes. So you don't have What's to go. What's his name again? Jake Woodford. Jake Woodford. You were paying attention. Well, at least you pay attention to somebody.
He's the mayor. Yes. Well, so are you, though. So am I, Mr. Anyway, mayor. I like what you did with your YouTube <clears throat> channel. You. And we'll see you next week. All right. Thank Bye. you very much.